Hello, and welcome to a two-minute tour of artwork in the Mary Ida Pew Library Learning and Information Commons. This building is vital to the GVSU collegiate experience, serving as an educational collaborator, a study oasis, and an important connection to learning services for all students. Moving through this building, you'll notice a mix of artwork by national and local artists, work by historical and contemporary international artists, and work that nods to the importance of freedom of thought and inquiry in liberal education. For example, throughout the building, you'll find work by local artist Reb Roberts, whose recognizable style can be seen in public works all over Grand Rapids. Other local artists featured include Jay Constantine, Virginia Jenkins, Jason Quigno, Tom Dymstra, Norwood Viviano, and Ann Keister. Also seen throughout the building are these intricately detailed paintings by Indian artists Shyamu Ramdev and Babulao Mariotia. They work in the tradition of Indian miniature painting and teach new generations of artists this traditional way of depicting Indian cultural imagery. Work by contemporary artists also features prominently. One of the largest works in the GVSU collection is this 50-foot tall multi-canvas work by Cheone Kim. It's made up of 130 by 30 inch panels, each painted with black geometric lines on a white background. Ideas relating to life and death are at the heart of this piece. Kim explains, My work deals with understanding aspects of the human condition and attempting to elevate the human spirit through line, form, space, and color. Other artists working in contemporary styles and media include Buzz Spector, Harold Linton, Daisy Mitchell, and Vic Muniz. This Vic Muniz piece on the concourse level is often a topic of conversation. Titled Name Dropping and taking the form of a monochromatic word search puzzle, it's a tongue-in-cheek homage to other contemporary artists like Mondrian and Rauschenberg, whose names you'll find among the seemingly random letters. Muniz has spoken out about growing up in poverty in Brazil and struggling with dyslexia. These early experiences inform his work and remind us that learning challenges and lack of resources should not be a barrier to education. Finally, if you visit the Pew Library in Allendale, be sure to check out the hallway connecting the library to the Kirchhoff Center next door. This long stretch of wall features many works by GVSU alumni artists. To learn more about these artworks or view more from the GVSU Art Collection, visit gvsu.edu slash artgallery.